All right, so you heard about the Balkan Pack of 1953, but what about the Balkan Pack of 1934? Let's get into it some background for sure though. So the Balkan Pact or the Balkan Entente was a treaty signed by Greece with Romania, Turkey and Yugoslavia on the 9th of February 1934 in Athens, aimed at maintaining the geopolitical status quo in the region after the end of the First World War, World War I or the Great War, to present a united front against Bulgarian designs and desires at their territory. The signatories agreed to suspend all disputed territorial claims against one another and their immediate neighbours following the aftermath of the war and a rise in various religious irredentist tensions also helped with the pack as well because there is a secular turkey but mostly a muslim turkey orthodox greece catholic stuff uh, yeah, especially the hodgepodge that is yugoslavia and i think romania is not really catholic but protestant is i think it might be catholic anyway other nations in the region that had been involved in related diplomacy refused to sign the document, including Italy, Albania, Bulgaria, of course, Hungary and the Soviet Union. The pact became effective on the day that it was signed and was registered in the League of Nations Treaty Series on the 1st of October 1934. The Balkan Pact helped to ensure peace between the signatory nations but failed to end any religious intrigues and tensions. So although the pact was designed against Bulgaria on the 31st of July 1938, its members signed the Salonika Agreement with Bulgaria, which replaced the clauses of the Treaty of Nuli Sosen and the Treaty of Luzan that had mandated demilitarized zones at Bulgaria's borders with Greece and Turkey that allowed Bulgaria to rearm and get ready for the sequel. With the 1940 Treaty of Karova, or Karova signed by Romania under Nazi Germany's pressure and after the 1941 Axis invasion of Yugoslavia and Greece, the pact effectively ceased to exist and Turkey remained its only signatory that had avoided any conflict during World War II, even after joining the Allies and declaring war on Germany in 1945. It was more of a thing gesture so they could get into the, well, the new United Nations after the war but yeah, that's pretty interesting, pretty cool. But anyway, hope you enjoyed, hope you liked that. Um, that's another interesting Balkan pack. This time it didn't fall apart due to political intrigue, but rather Germany. Yeah, see what they did there. Anyway, with that being said, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And until next time, bye-bye. Learn something.